Well, here's the sad state this uh, tow rope sits in right now. I robbed the engine off of it for a different project and I stuck it behind one of my sheds. But um, I'm gonna pull it out, get it fixed up. I'm gonna kind of change some things and get it going again. So if you're not familiar with this, I built this a couple years ago. I have a video of it uh, running last time I had it out, but uh, I robbed the motor off of it. Like I said, I got a brand new one here. What I'm gonna do is just kind of redesign this a little bit. What happens is I had the, the anchor, if you will, hooked up right here to a tree. And so the rope comes in at this angle. I'll step back here. And so what that wants to do is basically tip it like that when there's any like major load on it, you know, the back end likes to lift up. And so what I want to do is create a, a tie point on the top part and then somehow just kind of reinforce the top part of this because it just seemed kind of like scrunchy, you know, this, this top post kind of scrunched in a little bit. So I want to beef that up and I have... Like I said, I have a new engine, and then I also have this quieter muffler for it. So the problem is the way the engine sits, the muffler is goes like that, so it's in the way of everything. So I kind of have to redesign, redesign this anyway if I want to use this quieter muffler. That basically calls for a complete, like I said, a complete redesign. And so, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. But uh, yeah, it needs to be done. And this thing needs attention. It's too cool to let sit behind the shed. All right, so I got the chains were a little stiff, so I got them soaking in some oil. So I'm gonna get some oil on these bearings here. There's a grease fitting there. Let me try that, but they're fine. Um, they're not bad. I've had a lot of people ask me about the, like if there's a blueprint or a parts list or anything for this. And there's not. I basically created this out of thin air from my brain. So I don't necessarily have blueprints for this. Or I, I might might be able to throw together a parts list. I think I will because there's a lot of people asking. Yeah. So if you're if you are interested, I, th I think I probably will put a parts list together for you. But it's real simple. I mean, there's there's axles, bearings, the wheels and tires, and the sprockets and chains. It's not that bad. It's pretty simple. However you want to make it work, you can make it work. And I'm not, I don't think this is the best design out there, but I think it, it works. So uh, if you want to copy it, feel free and I can help you out with it. So. so what I think I might do is previously the engine was here and the chain would go up and over and across and then down here. What I think I might do is, is swap the, the wheel stand right here and the engine over here. That way the muffler can go that way and have plenty of space and we're still going to get the same you know wrap around the rope um, to get traction on those tires so i think we'll try that take, I don't know, somewhere in there. Yeah, and so then what I'll do is probably do something to mount the muffler too. 
but uh, the rotation and stuff should be the same. I'm not changing, flipping anything. I'm basically just taking it from here to there. And then I might even be able to use the same location for the for the axles and the bearings and stuff, but I might have to get a little bit longer chain. But if I can do that, that would be easy just to swap it, bolt it in there, and then it um, should be good to go, I think. I, I took the wheels and tires off of this to make it a little bit more user friendly, but I think what I might do is, you know, just kind of scooch this over as far over as I can get. It'll mount about right there. Alright, so what I did was these two boards here had the motor on it originally, and I just took this one and flopped it over to this side and left this one in place. Uh, the less screwing around I do, the better. I'm pretty certain I'm going to have to get a longer chain on the initial, and this chain will stay the same. But uh, and I marked marked on here where it lines up, so I just got to get it get it over there. I realized building this out of wood isn't the best way to do it. The best way to do it would be to build it out of steel and weld it. But I have a welder, I have steel. Um, it's just easier for me to do all the woodworking stuff, and I, I like it better. It's more forgiving. It's easier to work with when you drill a hole. You just drill it versus having to sit there and lube it and drill it and so by some mathematical miracle the the chain here fits without having to cut it or shorten it or lengthen it or add more and so that's kind of nice uh, i don't know must have something to do with the spacing or something like that but there we go and so what i'm going to do is take the old this was connected to this on you know when it was back there. So I'm do the same thing. I gotta cut that screw off, connect it here so I can run the same brace down to here. Remember that movie, Uncle Buck? And a C in there with a big old long drill bit like this. One of those things that just sticks with you. These are six inch by quarter inch lugs, lags. Here's the hub setup on this. I had a couple people ask about it. It's uh, it's just like a go-kart hub, I think. One inch axle, I got two spacers here. This is just your regular old four inch by four hub. And I, I knocked out the, the studs and then what I do, these bolts that go through there, and then I throw the rim on there and I throw the other rim on there and I just bolt it all together. I don't know if I had this on the, the last video, but I added this. It's just PVC. And so the way the rope comes around, it goes on this side of, of this stand here. And I just added this PVC. It doesn't necessarily spin, but it keeps it, it's plastic versus wood. So it probably wears a little better on the rope. So I'm gonna transfer that over here. And then just basically take a a paddle bit and cut that out for this to sit in there.
I'm going to need to figure out something to do with this um, tensioner. The, the old one I had was just in this block of wood and I screwed it in there and it was fixed. This has a bearing on it. So I'm going to have to get that knocked down. But what I would really like is some type of spring tensioner. So to mark the holes, I just cut a chunk of carpenter's pencil and then just drop it in there and kind of do one of these things to kind of get it marked the holes. And then I can drill them out to mount this. Yeah, that'll work. I got this spring-loaded tensioner hooked up, but then I realized the engine turns this way, so the torque, you know, from the chain to here is gonna be pushing this down and it's not gonna accomplish what I wanna do. So I gotta basically flip this around to put tension on the, the loose side of it somehow. There, I just brought this up to the top part here. I have the engine completely bolted down. This is just a spring from a screen door or something that I found, but there's some tension on here. There's not a lot of, you know, that's loose there. So there's not a lot of spring pressure on here, but enough to keep it keep it tight so that should work out pretty good for some reason this got really tight since the last time I used it so I'm gonna have to pull this this is where that other I had like a uh, black plastic washer type thing around here to just keep the the tension on that it doesn't need a lot of tension but I got to take this out and uh, figure something out <clears throat> so there's where the old hole was for the tensioner you can see it's really really tight so here's the the bushing that I'm going to use I'll just find a spot here mark it and drill it so just something like that I don't know it doesn't have to be you know super tight on this one because there's really not, not a lot of play but just kind of something to take up the slack in case it does start jumping around so mark that one Drill it. There. Now that should whoop, have enough room to slide that in there. Yep. Yeah. And that. Throw a nut on there and we're good to go. I got the tires back on. You can kind of see the Sorry, they're kind of dirty. They've been sitting outside, but the just the tread itself kind of forms a natural grip for that rope. You know, the rope runs through here. So you can kind of see there's just kind of natural grippers right in there for that rope to grab onto. There's the tire info there. I'll start it up for you so you can hear the new muffler and I'll show you how this all works if you haven't seen it before. So it sounds that that new muffler is actually pretty quiet in mid RPMs. I did a separate video and it's 
borderline louder and high RPMs, but it's mid RPMs, it seems like it's a lot quieter. So that's kind of where I run this thing. It actually, the chain seems like it makes more noise than the engine now. So I think this is pretty much done. So I just got to string out the rope and get it put back into place. Right. Right. Well, I should probably tighten that down. That little crooked there. Tighten that down, and then we'll put it in place. Here's how I kept the rope. It's a, I don't know how many gallon, but just like a black rubber watering trough. I got that our, we call it fleet. So you can get those any farm supply store, but it worked perfect. It's just the right size, wrapped it up right in there. I'm just pulling it out now and it's coming, coming right out. No problems. So that worked out great for storage. In case you didn't see the last video, this is how the rope goes through, it comes up over this. This is an old, it's actually not old, it's brand new wheelbarrow kit that I just took the tire off. It's got bearings and stuff. Goes around the two tires and then out that way. You can see the transmission and this rope rubs up against this PVC, just drilled PVC right through there so it doesn't rub on the wood. Keeps it in line there, so yeah. Works really good. Hopefully these these new mods will make it run a little bit smoother. Um, got my tractor stuck, that's always fun. Need chains, but yeah, I'll fire it up and show you guys how it works.